Hello, everyone. Welcome to the State of the Moonion for Moon Week 22. You're on with me, Justin, Ryder, and Jay Winter M. So uh, welcome, everybody. It's been, uh, we skipped the last one. Holidays were, <laughs> but we're back. We're back. Um, sadly, the market's way down um, since the last time we, we had a conversation. Everything is way down in the month. Bitcoin's down 30% to about $35,000. Ethereum is down about 38%. Really, only Cosmos and Phantom are up in the top 50. So it's just a sea of red through there. We've had a really rough couple of days. Um, but that, that's sort of where we're at. Uh, Ryder and JW, do you have any thoughts on sort of what's been going on um, in, this, in the space right now? I mean, well, go ahead. sorry. I was just going to say, like, it, it really seems tied to the traditional financial markets, especially the NASDAQ. And I mean, it's in the same direction, but with a larger magnitude of a move in general. So like NASDAQ, like on Friday, dumped 3%, then Bitcoin dumps 10% or whatever. So it just seems like it's a kind of macro risk off environment right now in crypto's are suffering the worst in general. Yeah, I think in some ways we we wanted more adoption, and this is kind of a side effect of having a, a bit uh, more of that adoption. Is and now we're ebbing and flowing a bit with the rest of the financial market. We saw a bit of that on Friday as well. <laughs> and I, in previous uh, conversations, I've said uh, I'd be crying if uh, things went terribly wrong in my personal opinion and i i'm not crying yet i'll i'll say i almost had a little bit of a a tear start to form on friday but i'm not crying yet all right well i guess i guess that's good news. <laughs> You're, uh, well, time will tell i guess time will tell time will tell <laughs> um yeah it has been interesting to see the cryptocurrency space grow so significantly but still track the regular markets so aggressively. And I think that just speaks to it being a pretty high risk play asset still for a lot of people where their extra money goes into crypto. And if their normal investments are struggling, then people are going to pull that money out a bit, a bit faster, maybe. Um, Ryder, can you give us an overview of what's going on in the governance side of things for this moon week? Sure. We just had a couple of polls going on. <clears throat> One of them being CCIP 25. That was the algorithmic uh, uh, moon pricing for the special membership. Um, and that, as of this evening, has uh, passed, as of uh, recording this anyway. Uh, as of uh, uh, now, CCIP26, which is increasing the hidden comment scores from five minutes to 60 minutes, is currently leading just slightly by 51%. So that's where we're currently at on the two polls going on for this week. For the um, for CCIP twenty six, the the comment one, um, yeah. there's only it's only fifty two percent of the threshold. So people would really need to get out and and have a huge voting push in order to get that across the line. I think I'm a little doubtful that'll go through, and it's it's literally just barely right across. So uh, you know, time will tell. Definitely go out there and vote. There's two more. Even though we've already hit the threshold on the first one, you should still vote and get your moons on it, um, your bonus moons. Um, but I'm a little skeptical personally about 26 passing. I think 60 minutes is kind of on the, the upper end of what most people are expecting for the comments, uh, karma to be hidden. Right. Um, I so agree. I guess we'll see. Go out and vote. <laughs> um, JW, can you talk about some other changes that are happening on in the, the cryptocurrency subreddit right now or what happened in the last month? Sure. Um... We've seen uh, a really high level of spam um, from brand new accounts that Reddit seems a little reticent to crack down harder on for some reason. I mean, they're definitely aware of it at this point. Um, but if you notice, like somebody replied to your comment and then you click the notification and there's nothing there, or if you see a thread and it says there's 15 comments and you click in and there's only zero or one, uh, that's because we're having a, a really large uh, level of spam happening in the subreddit. 
And we've also seen a lot of referral links. So just a reminder, um, referral links are strictly uh, not allowed in our cryptocurrency. And if you post one, uh, you will get banned almost certainly. Um, and if you're an actual human, then you can probably get your ban reduced or removed. Um, but yeah, just that's something that we've been seeing a lot more of lately. So be aware, referral links are definitely not allowed. Um, and then as far as events that we've had in the subreddit over the past month, we only had one AMA uh, as like a text AMA. Um, which was with Plot X, which is like a skill-based prediction game. Um, and they came on and did a giveaway and talked about their service uh, that's been live for a while now. Uh, and sorry, <laughs> it's, it's been the holidays and we haven't been grinding super hard uh, in terms of looking for people or like pursuing AMAs. I'm sure we'll have a lot more in the next month. Uh, although, uh, so that was for kind of text-based traditional AMAs on Reddit. Uh, we have had uh, a podcast that's been hosted as a Reddit talk event and simulcast on our Discord the last two weeks. So the second episode was tonight. And that's um, been hosted by Tom Crown and... Mr. Poppy uh, on Discord. And it's like a, a market analysis type of podcast and it's pretty trading focused. Um, but those guys are committed to continuing with this podcast every week. So that's something that you should expect every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern or 11 p.m. UTC or 3 p.m. Pacific time, or wherever you are in the world. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, and we hope, you know, with those guys and, and the State of the Union and a couple other things that we have coming in the near future that we'll be uh, generating more content that will be available on our YouTube channel and, and elsewhere. Yeah, I'm glad they're taking advantage of the the reddit talk functionality um i think that'll definitely especially if they do it recurring it's just the second one so we're, we're starting but it's 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 good to see i'm glad that uh people came yeah out. to be honest i was a little skeptical that they're really gonna stick with it every week but cross your fingers <laughs> yeah. we'll see how it goes and they have a far better radio voice i think than all the rest of us combined so <laughs> they're doing something right the odds are in their favor by comparison um, yeah, so make sure to track that. We'll make sure it's on our YouTube as well. We'll get that uploaded, um, including the past one if we can. Um, I want to quickly go over the user post highlights uh, from the last month. Crypto Dragon and Z uh, wrote a very long, <laughs> detailed thread about the fear and greed index. I remember he was describing significant fear around the forty-one thousand dollar mark. I guess those that were fearful were potentially right because it's now around 35,000 um, for, for, for Bitcoin. So uh, he spoke about the strategies comparing it over the time where you had significant appreciations or depreciations or different events in the cryptocurrency space and what other people were were feeling on this index. Now, I, I think this, this index is like, don't use it as your only indicator. Um, I think that's something a lot of people fall into the trap of trying to do. But by all means, I guess it's one thing you can look at. The, the idea is it's trying to simulate what people are feeling. And if people are overly bullish, perhaps maybe that's something you want to put the brakes on a little bit. Or if people are overly bearish, you might say, okay, well, can't there's there's not much further this can realistically go down given how people are adopting it or using it or who is invested in it. So that everyone who would have sold already has, for example. So thank you, Crypto Dragon NZ, for writing that up. Uh, you got moons for submitting that, some extra bonus moons, of course, in addition to the general uh, moons from the upvotes. So thank you very much. Um, Ryder, can you talk about just the family of subreddits and stuff uh, that we have, all the different platforms people can communicate? Sure, absolutely. Don't forget, guys, we've got uh, lots of places to communicate and always uh, talk to each other and us. 
Uh, we've got always the subreddit CC Meta and Markets CC Memes to post your memes and have fun, of course, CC Moons, uh, Devs and Technology to talk about that. We have the Discord, which has over 90,000 users. We have the Telegram group, which has grown now to, to 1,600 users. And, of course, we have our Twitter, which is at ccmod underscore. You can find us and talk to us, and you'll find JW and us floating around all those places. So come talk to us and other members of the community. We're, we're floating around out there. I just... I'll just say it here. I'll give I'll give a moon tip if someone's able to get us our cryptocurrency on on Twitter because just having CC mod underscore is awful. Um, <laughs> nor do I want to do crypto underscore yeah. currency underscore R or something <laughs> like it's just ten thousand ten thousand moon bounty for our crypto. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I would back that. that. I I think that's honestly worthwhile. So someone, JW, I'm going to hold you hold us to that. Yeah, I, I <laughs> that seems like a fair too. price. Hopefully, that'll get some people it. moving. Um, and the Telegram that's t.me slash r cryptocurrency official. <laughs> um, <laughs> a little bit better than CC mod underscore, but not still not ideal. But close, but close. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone for participating. Uh, JW finally issued out the awards for the cryptocurrency memes subreddit. So if the last month or two or whatever it was, you submitted memes and they were highly upvoted, your bonus moons were sent your way. So we definitely are still heavily encouraging people to post content there. And of course you have all the other different subreddits where you can participate and have more focused discussion than just a broad <laughs> cryptocurrency topic. So there's a different community out for you regardless of what you want. Um, all right, well that's, uh, any final comments from either of you before we wrap this up? Um, you know, I want to throw one last thing in. I've I've heard a few things. I, I you may not know it, but I lurk the daily quite a bit, and I've seen a lot of comments lately about the Instamod flares. So I want to throw one last thing in. Instamod flares have been changing, and I've seen some go up and some go down, and people have been questioning it. Um, I've tried to answer some people, and I just want to let folks know, yes, your flare that is assigned by Instamod can change. Um, so remember that. It can go up. It can go down. It's reviewed regularly by the bot. Um, so don't be surprised if it changes. Um, so I just want to answer that broadly because I've seen it asked a lot recently in the last couple of weeks. Um, so just want to throw that last little bit in since it's been asked recently. Other than that, everyone take care. Awesome. Thanks, Ryder, for that. Thanks, JW, for coming on. Uh, this is your State of the Moonion for Moon Week 22. Again, get out and vote. There's a little bit of time left, and one of them hasn't passed yet. So definitely <laughs> vote on vote on both to get your, your, your main bonus, but definitely vote on at least one of them in order to get your primary bonus. All right. Take care, everyone. Thanks for joining. Bye.